very good day to people my name is Mohit guys and today I'm going to talk about uh, generating random numbers through the math.random method of the the math class and guys although it's not difficult to generate a random number but if I were to present you situations in which you would uh, need to extract a random number in a specific range let's say between uh, 0 and 10 or a 5 and 10 or let's say a minus 5 or a plus 5 you know between minus 5 and a plus 5 uh, and there are several such examples that we'll uh, talk I'll talk you through in this tutorial it's not very easy guys I've taught a number of people through the years and I've seen that uh, this is one area where most people falter so we'll understand that so let's uh, dive straight into a new action script 3 file uh, guys this is the stage white in color 550 by 400 in size I'm gonna pull a button out of the common library right I'll go to the classic button section there it is I'm gonna pull out a red button red arcade button there it is right and then guys I would want to change the color of the stage to a pound sign triple three triple three all right let me draw a text field which is classic dynamic font family ravi font size 72 and the color white right let me give it an instance name let me call it r and no r and no for random number let me give the button a run, you know an instance name as well let me call it btn cool right so both the button and this empty text field which will very soon uh, host a number will have a random number both of them uh, are on layer number one I'll call layer number one assets after double clicking I'm gonna rename it okay I'm gonna create yet another layer I'm gonna call it AS3 for action script 3 and I'm gonna have my code out there it's so a coding time guys I'm gonna create a variable I'm gonna call it number one I'm gonna make it equal to math dot random parent parent semicolon now guys <coughs> sorry the moment I say that I have a random number number you know I have a variable number one which is equal to math dot random parent parent this number one variable will then get the value any value between 0 and 1 any value between 0 and 1 it will be a fraction between 0 and 1 cool alright but guys uh, I would want to press that red button and show that number up on the stage so I'll need to have an event listener so I'll, I need to say btn dot and event listener mouse event dot click and then uh, the name of my function so let me call it uh, click handler alright so let me define the function click handler right I'll need to pass the event inside the parents so that's a mouse event cool a colon void since this does not calculate and return a value this function does not do that and then guys I'm gonna copy this uh, line out here I'm gonna drag it and leave it out there and then guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say R and no which is the name of the text field is that's R N O dot using the text property guys I'm gonna make it equal to string and in brackets I'm gonna say num1 num1 right basically guys since R N O is a text field it's not going to accept a number I'll need to change the number to a string I need to convert the number to a string using the string method and then I can then show the number up in the text field out here this is RNO1 guys right let me test the movie hitting control enter on my keyboard guys right the moment I press this uh, button every time I press this button guys you can see that I get a random number between 0 and 1 just the way we had talked about a little while ago alright let me go inside the actions panel cool guys what if I wanted a random number between uh, 0 and 10 now that wouldn't be too difficult either all I need to say is I need to multiply math by uh, math dot random into 10 
and let's test it out right so every time I get a random number between 0 and 10 what if I just wanted the whole number and uh, not the integer <coughs> let's see how uh, no, not the fraction just the whole number right let's see how uh, that could have been possible all I need to do is I need to put an opening parent out here and I need to have a closing parent out here and uh, just before the opening parenthesis I need to say math dot round <laughs> right so that will round round uh, whatever is inside the parents right so let's test control enter I need to put one more parent out here okay that should be fine control enter and guys as you can notice when I round off the number it will give me a range between 0 and 10 and that's exactly what is happening right okay so pretty useful math dot round alright now let's go one step ahead what if I want a random number between uh, let's say uh, a 5 and a 10 so the formula changes like this this becomes a 5 and I need to say a plus 5 out here let's test alright so every time I get a random number that's between 5 and 10 guys cool let me take this uh, to the next step and that's even more difficult what if I want a random number between minus 5 and plus 5 how would you do it well the answer is I'll change this 5 to a 10 out here and I'll change this plus to a minus out here right let me test right so sometimes I get a negative number sometimes I get a positive number but every time I get a number which is between 5 and uh, plus 5 and minus 5 right so that's the way you'd use it cool okay let me make it even more difficult what if I need a random number between um, 0 and 10 but then I'll skip 10 and tw 10 to 20 and then I want uh, numbers from 20 to 30 so basically I want a number between 0 and 30 barring 10 and 20 right I wouldn't want that range in between how would I do that alright so let's see how that's possible I'm gonna say var I'm gonna declare a, a variable I'm gonna call it tester alright and I'm gonna make it equal to math not random alright and then I'm gonna write an if conditional guys now tester has got to be a number between 0 and 1 through the math dot random function that's the way it works alright so I'm gonna say if let me create the structure first I'm gonna say if tester is greater than 0.5 now the chances that will be greater than 0.5 are 50 percent guys it's like a toss it's like saying if it is heads do this if it is tails do that right so that's 50 percent probability that the tester will be uh, over and above 0.5 if it is so then uh, I'm gonna copy this uh, statement I'm gonna put it out here in the parents right and if it is not if it is not else I'm gonna say something else then I would want the number one to be mm, slightly different let me uh, show you what it should be then in which case I would want my number one to be math dot random into 10 plus third plus 20 right so uh, let me see if there are any errors there are none alright so in case the 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 tester is greater than 5 the number output would be between 10 0 and 10 or else failing which you know if it is not greater than 0 0.5 50% chances that will not be greater and 50% chances that it will be greater than 0.5 I would want my random number to be equal to uh, 20 and above so this 20 has to come out uh, plus we'll add uh, a random number between uh, 0 and 10 so that'll be a random number between 20 and 30 right so basically we have skipped the 
the 10 to 20 range and that is exactly what I had in mind so let's test control enter on my keyboard guys there you go right so guys you can notice why am I getting this uh, minus num uh, let me just check I'm getting this minus because all right I don't need this minus 5 out here I just don't need it right so this will output 0 to 10 and this will output 20 to 30 right let me test again control enter on the keyboard and there you go so the numbers are between 0 and 30 barring uh, 10 to 20 right great so guys uh, this is how you actually generate random numbers in a specific range and let me tell you it's, it's very useful there'll be s so many scenarios you know in which you would be uh, doing it I especially find the random numbers I find the timer and I find uh, the concept the display list in action script very very useful uh, invariably I use them in almost all of uh, the projects that I used uh, at least one of the three you know uh, at least one of the three I definitely definitely use uh, in most of my projects so guys I hope you like this tutorial you learn something from it and I'll see you next time with yet another flash or action sub 3 tutorial have a good day bye bye peace